Good morning. Um, so today I woke up with a lot of things like on my mind of what I want to do and what I should be doing and what I need to do. Um, and so I decided to jot them all down. And so I made a list of like things I want to do and it's move to Hong Kong, work out, vlog, grow LinkedIn, put more effort into client work, grow back in of LinkedIn agency, more clients, blood tests, build a morning and night routine, catch up with NYC people and learn. And then I kind of like broke it down into actual tasks I need to do. Um, and then I made a list of habits I want to stop doing. Um, it's randomly check Instagram, randomly check my, my messages. Same with email. I only want to check email once a day. Then I have this habit of like when I, when I check my messages or comments, like I don't even answer them. I just look through them and see if there's anything important because you see like the preview of the message. And then if there isn't, I don't even answer the message. But if I go there, I actually want to spend the time to answer the messages. Press the snooze button, obviously. I'm doing this not very often, but I'm still doing it sometimes. I don't want to do that ever. Um, only getting things done with a deadline and not doing tasks for growth. Um, I'm very good at like getting tasks done that have a deadline. For example, the vlog. Like I know the vlog is daily, so I know every day I have to um, edit, render, um, upload and post the vlog sometime during the day and then I have no problem getting it done. But there are certain tasks that um, don't really have a deadline but that are there for like more long-term things. And I right now kind of struggle to find time for that. Um, the email thing and then not having a clear schedule or to-do list of what to do for the next day. Um, so, you know, just just having nothing specific and more like, okay, I'm just going to do the things and then this and at some point I'm going to edit the vlog kind of thing. That works, but it's also not as effective as I want it to be. So, yeah, woke up with this had a cluttered mind um, and and so this decluttered it and now I'm gonna shower and get to work. Peace. I just did something for the first time and I think I wanna do it more often now. Um, I was editing the vlog from two days ago. So um, that's the vlog where I got denied for the visa. So if you're seeing this right now and you didn't watch the vlog, go out and check, that, check out that vlog. I think it's a very interesting one, but um, while I was editing, I was I put on my um, stopwatch on my phone and just to track how much it took me. And in my head, I was thinking like, okay, I want to take an hour to edit this. Um, I just looked at it and it was two and a half hours. Um, so way longer. So I understand this vlog was a longer one because I really wanted to like get the message across and, and cut it all up in the right way. So this one is a bit unusual. Um, so I understand that it took longer than, than I usually do, but this is a good thing to like see how much time something actually takes. And the second thing is the, the fact that my stopwatch is on my phone um, and on my screen, that also means that it's a reminder every time I randomly grab my phone just subconsciously to, I don't know, check Instagram. And it just brings me back right to the moment. Like, think about it. Like, it happens so often to me that I'm editing or doing something. And like, I just grab for my phone because it's an instinct. And then I open Instagram and check messages. And f 15 minutes later, I'm like, oh, shit, let's go back to the vlog. But if you whenever you unlock your phone, the first thing you see is that timer going up. It immediately is a trigger to like, oh, shit, what am I doing? I'm like doing something here right now. I have a task. So I think I'm gonna do that more often. And you know, so yeah. Um, watch that vlog from two days ago. Can I put it somewhere here or something? I put it maybe here or something. So we're picking up Jay now from the bus. Um, Jay is now coming to Bremen. I told him I don't want him to come. I told him he should not come. I don't want to host him. I don't want to spend time with him, but he came anyway. I don't even know why we're picking him up now. Um, but I don't know yet. Maybe we'll just drop him off, drop him off somewhere at an Airbnb. Um, at least that's the plan because this guy I've spent six months with, six months with him in New York, and now he's coming to my hometown. I mean, what the fuck? 
So, yeah, we might just stop by, say hi, um, let them know like where you can find an Airbnb. I get it, navigation. Um, and that's all we're gonna do, so, yeah. Jay, I just told them that I don't want you to come. Why, you why did who? you... Yeah, why did you come? You told who? Them! Who's well, all of them. Who's all of them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> it's me. Don't you remember me? You what? I said, I remember a guy that was going to America. Yeah, that guy doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> that guy who's going to America, he's dead. Hey, Jay. Hey, Sam. How are you doing? In Germany we do this. <laughs> Please enter. Even though the last thing I want to do is sit. Now he's actually entering my car. I mean you can walk. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you enjoying Germany so far, dude? Uh, it's been interesting. A hell of a bus ride, huh? Yeah. How are Germans treating you so far? Are they uh, very structured and um, very... I've actually dealt with like five Italians. The first thing you do when, when, a, when someone comes into a German house, you give them beer. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same did as... You, did you try it? How yeah, is it? That's good. That's all you say? That's no, actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> this way you're gonna sleep? It's a big room. Yeah, you have a bigger room than I do. <laughs> I got kicked out. Don't try to, to eat these, those are not real. Try to eat them. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up.